in previous class we discuss about the in previous class we discuss about the uh, female genital system so the organ of female genital system are organs of female genital system are ovary ovary duct fallopian tube uterus vulva ovary and mammary gland ovary duct ke baad kya bola fallopian tube is there any difference between ovary duct and fallopian tube no no sorry sir so name the organs of female genital system ovary ovary duct uterus vagina and vulva okay so in previous class we discuss about the structure of ovary topographical position of ovary and about the structure of oviduct in previous class we left over at the discussion about the broad ligament of uterus and the topographical position of uterus okay so in previous class we discussed about the broad ligament of uterus which you can see here these are somewhat wing like appearance ligaments show the wing like appearance surrounding the uterus here you can see the uterine horn this is the case in case of mayer so here you can see the presence of uterine horn and this is the uterus uterine body and uterine body uterine body literally supported by the presence of broad ligament of uterus here you can see the presence of ovary okay here with the part which peritoneal covering that uh, covers the ovary meso ovarium that covers the uterine horn uh, sorry that covers the uterine uterus mesometrium and that covers the fallopian tube is meso salpings okay so we discussed in the previous class about the round ligament also so we discussed the round ligament of liver and round ligament of uterus another round ligament which present at the urinary bladder is remnant of round ligament of urinary bladder is remnant of we heard about the round ligament at the liver we heard the presence of round ligament at the uterus and we also heard about the round ligament at the urinary bladder so round ligament of liver is the remnant of liver of uterus यूरिनरी ब्लैडर पे हमने राउंड लिगामेंट पढ़ा था व्हेन वी डिस्कस यस मैम मैम इट इज द रेमिनेंट ऑफ अम्बिलिकल आर्टरी यूरिनरी ब्लैडर ठीक है एंड लिवर पे अम्बिलिकल वेन का रेमिनेंट अम्बिलिकल वेन का रेमिनेंट एंड यस्टरडे वी डिस्कस अबाउट द राउंड लिगामेंट ऑफ यूट्रस दैट इज आल्सो अटैच विद द ब्रॉड लिगामेंट ऑफ यूट्रस एंड दिस राउंड लिगामेंट ऑफ यूट्रस is the portion extension of the broad ligament of uterus okay the round ligament of uterus is extend on either give a fold to the uterus which extend up to the internal inguinal ring and that known as round ligament of uterus so you will find the three round ligament round ligament of liver round ligament of urinary bladder and round ligament of uterus clear ye cheez clear hai
इसमें किसी को कोई डाउट परेशानी तो नहीं है ओके सो हेयर अगेन यू कैन सी द प्रेजेंस ऑफ यूट्रस इन साइड द कैविटी दीज आर ओवरी ठीक है एंड दिस इज द पोर्शन ऑफ ब्रॉड लिगामेंट एंड द एक्सटेंशन ऑफ द ब्रॉड लिगामेंट और द फोल्ड ऑफ द ब्रॉड लिगामेंट ऑन आई दाइड ऑफ द यूट्रस विच एक्सटेंड अप टू द इंटरनल इंग्वाइल एंड रिंग इज नोन एज राउंड लिगामेंट ऑफ यूट्रस ओके What is the difference between the ovary of the mare and the ovary of cow? Ma'am, in mm -hmm. in case mare, it is bean shape, and there is there are presence of ovarian fossa. Yes, ma'am. Ovulation fossa. Okay. and we also discuss about the change in the structure of the ovary in case of mare you will find the cortex is at its inner side and medulla is situated at its outer aspect when we discuss about the structure we will continue here i want to show you the female genital system of bitch okay and here you can see the uterine horn long uterine horn present and the uterine body is comparatively shorter than the uterine horn and a v shaped appearance is form it form a v shaped appearance okay and here you can see at the anterior margin of this uterine horn you will find the presence of ovary theek okay. hai ovary and uh, at the same time we will find the presence of fallopian tube also okay so this is about the female genital system this is the ostium of the infant dibulum when we discuss about the structure we say that cortex is situated outside and medulla is situated inside but in case of mayer the cortical portion is situated inside and the medullary portion is situated at its outer aspect okay and here you can see the development of the follicles in the cortical area and this is the ovulation fossa uh, actually ghosh ke book mein aisa likha hua hai ki follicles are situated in the medulla to but you will find the developing follicles in the cortical region itself clear okay so that's about the ovary now come to the uterus and we discuss about the topographical position of uterus in case of its very much portion is extended into the abdominal cavity and uh, some portion is situated in the pelvic cavity this is of appearance of horn you can differentiate between the species uh, in the previous class we also discuss about the type of uterus what kind of uh, uterus you will find in different species uterus
यूट्रस के कौन कौन से टाइप मिलेंगे हमें डिफरेंट स्पीशीज में डिफाइन द टाइप्स ऑफ यूट्रस मैम सिंपल टाइप द फ्लेक्स एंड सिंप्लेक्स डिप्लेक्स एंड डायवर्जेंटेंस two horns are extended like a bar of t okay and the line of t is represented vertical portion of uh, t is represented by the body so in mare you will find a t shaped appearance in cow the uterine horn appearance is parallel to each other rounded in case of sow you will find a intestinal loop appearance because the horn is very much the length of horn is uh, more so they accommodate in the abdomen in the cavity by its coiling okay that's why it gives the intestinal loop appearance in case of bitch as you see the straight and divergent two horns extended opposite uh, in a divergent manner from the uterine body so on this basis you can differentiate between the mare cow you uh, in a sheep also you will find the rounded appearance so and bitch and the length of uh, uterine horns is also variable in different species here you can see at a glance the appearance of uterine uterus as you can see the rounded uterine horn in case of cow ठीक है it gives a somewhat rounded appearance uterine horn in case of sow you can see the coiled appearance of uterine horn okay here you can see the coiled appearance of uterine horn this is the broad ligament this is ovary ठीक है and this portion is of this body of the uterus you will find the urinary bladder then vagina vestibule vulva okay so here you can see the coiled appearance and in case of mare you clearly see the t shaped appearance the uterine horn and this is the body uterine body okay so the bar of the t is formed by the uterine horn and the vertical line is formed by the body and here you can see the divergent appearance of uterine horn in case of bitch clear isme kisi ko koi doubt ek idea lag sakta hai ki ye uterus kis species ka hoga theek hai okay now come to the structure of uterus in when we define the uterus has three main parts horn of uterus body of uterus and the cervix of uterus okay horns are two in number horns are two in number right and left horns are two in number right and left and they join cranially with the cranial structure kya aayega aage ki taraf kya infundibulum infundibulum the part of the ovary duct define karo theek hai na isthmus ampulla and infundibulum and infundibulum is situated towards the Infundibulum is situated to 
over the ovarian side okay so the horns are cranially joined with the oviduct at the isthmus caudally these two horns unite to form the body of the uterus caudally they unite to form the body of the uterus and length is somewhat 20 to 40 cm long in case of cattle the direction is somewhat it is directed downward forward outward and backward then again it become upward okay when we start from this portion it goes cranially okay so it directed in a forward direction then it goes down so directed in a downward direction extended somewhat outward and then it goes backward and from backward it again goes upward okay so it is forward downward outward and then backward directed and again it goes somewhat upward in direction so it give a horn like appearance horn dekhe hai na animal ke horns dekhe hai na sabhi so it give somewhat horn like appearance that's why it known as horn of uterus uterine horn okay the body of the uterus is small in case of cattle especially matlab humne ye cheez padhi hai ki मेयर में जो है वो बॉडी कंपेटिवली लार्ज होगी इन कैटल द बॉडी इज स्मॉल एंड इट अपियर्स लॉन्गर ड्यू टू द कॉमन पेरिटोनियल कवरिंग सराउंडिंग द हॉर्न जो पेरिटोनियल कवरिंग हॉर्न को सराउंड करती है दैट सेम पेरिटोनियल कवरिंग इज ऑल्सो एक्सटेंडेड ओवर द बॉडी ऑफ द यूट्रस दैट्स वाई the body is appear somewhat uh, longer in appearance however the size of body is small it is a dorso ventrally flat tube and attached laterally with the broad ligament the ball of the body is comparatively thicker than the uterine horn okay and it continue cranially with the uterine horn and caudally with the cervix it continue cranially with the uterine horn and caudally with the cervix now come to the part of cervix here you can see the cervix okay the cervix or cervix is also known as neck of the uterus okay so cervix or the neck of the uterus is the caudal part of the uterus and it communicate cranially with the body and caudally with the vagina the wall is very thick and the cavity transform into a narrow canal and filled by the spiral fold of mucous membrane okay filled by the spiral fold of mucous membrane uh here you can see Okay. Here you can see the spiral fold of mucous membrane. Okay, 
when we discuss in lengthen then we see the cervix has two opening an internal opening and external opening internal opening is known as internal cervical os that communicate with the uterine body and the external opening cervical os is communicate with the vagina okay and surrounding this cervix you will find the fold of a vagina a blind pouching or pocketing is occur surrounding the external cervical os that known as fornix the fornix is the part of vagina okay so here you can see the foldings of mucous membrane which is very much clear here you can see the annular rings are formed by the mucous membrane and it gives a spiral arrangement to the cervix and helps to close the cervix and minimize the contamination of uterus from the external environment here you can see the clear annular rings okay samajh mein aaye clear annular rings although species variation is present which we discuss later on and here you can see the closed appearance of cervix when it get, get closed here you can see the external os cervical os and that portion is fornix vaginae the portion of the vagina which forms the out pocketing surrounding the cervix is known as fornix vaginae and uh, the structure of cervix the knowledge of the structure of cervix is very important from the artificial insemination point of view as in case of animals the artificial insemination is a very much used practice for the uh, pregnancy induction so this is the external os which allow the entry of your ai gun you have to reach up to the external cervical os at the level of this portion for the deposition of semen okay so when we palpate when we go for the per rectal examination the guidance is through the rectum and ai gun is inserted in the through the vulva and it is very much try that uh, the ai gun should reach up to the level of the external cervical os so that uh, semen deposition can be done at its proper site and induction of pregnancy can occurs in animals the knowledge of the cervical structure is very much important from artificial insemination point of view okay so in case of cattle you will find the presence of annular folds the number of these annular rings is variable as in case of cow it is about 3 to 4 rings in case of goat it is 4 to 5 rings in case of ewe it is 6 to 7 rings okay in case of sheep the annular ring arrangement provides a curved canal in case of sow the rings are interdigitating and provide a corked screw arrangement and this kind of arrangement is very much adaptive to the spiral twisting of tip of boar's penis in case of mare the cervix is soft and doesn't have fibrous tissue or annular ring in case of bitch the mucosal folds are single fold and have a smooth surface in so you will not find the presence of fornix so fornix is absent in case of so
and here you can see the arrangement the annular rings are present in case of cow in case of mare folds are present but the annular arrangement is absent in case of sow you will see the interdigitating pad so it gives a somewhat cork screw appearance which is adopted with the spiral appearance of penis of boar okay so these differences are present in cervix of different species here you can see the formation of different shape surroundings by the phonix this portion is phonix and this is the cervix cervix portion and here you can see the presence of external os in case of canine a dorsal median fold of tissue is described that extend caudally from the vaginal portion of the cervix and the caudal portion of this fold and constrictions of the lateral and ventral vaginal wall give the appearance of a cervix that known as pseudo cervix with a ventral fissure due to the arrangement of the vaginal walls and a presence of a median fold of tissue there is formation of a cervix like structure that is known that known as pseudo cervix because it is not the true cervix so these differences you will encounter during the cervix examination of different species now come to the structure of uterus in when we go with the structure of uterus you will find three layers perimetrium myometrium and endometrium here you can see okay serosa layer or the perimetrium layer here you will see the muscularis or the myometrium and the inner mucosa layer that is the endometrium okay so three layers are present perimetrium myometrium and endometrium and covers the organ myometrium is thick and composed of three muscle layer outer longitudinal middle circular and the internal longitudinal or the radicular layer the arrangement of muscle fiber is either in a longitudinal pattern or the arrangement of muscle fibers in a circular pattern arrangement of muscle fibers in a longitudinal or radicular pattern at its in a most layer okay so you will find the three muscle layers in the myometrium layer endometrium consists of surface epithelium and lamina propria the mucous membrane of endometrium is continue with the fimbriated end of fallopian tube and the mucosa of the vagina epithelium is columnar ciliated at the horn while columnar in the body and neck the type of epithelium we will discuss in detail when we discuss about the histology of the uterus at the endometrium especially in case of ruminants you will see the presence of mushroom shaped projection that known as caruncles 
that known as carankles which are convex in case case of cow and concave in case of sheep in sow and mare you can see the presence of uterine folds here you can see the button shaped appearance this is carankles okay and in case of cattle you can see the convex appearance yahan convexity dikhai de rahi hai aur yahan surface pe concavity dikhai de rahi hai theek hai so convex carankles are present in case of cattle and concave carankles are present in case of sheep here also you can see the convexity and concavity so multiple number of carankles you will encounter over the surface of uterus blood supply the uterus is got its blood supply by the uterine branch of ovarian artery that supply to the cranial part of the uterine horn then middle uterine artery that is the branch of umbilical artery and this middle uterine artery is very important as this middle uterine artery is used for the detection of pregnancy the palpation of this middle uterine artery during the later stage of pregnancy because the blood supply to the uterus get enhanced at the time of pregnancy so the middle uterine artery can be palpable at the stage of pregnancy okay so the most of the portion is supplied by the middle uterine artery and that is the branch of the umbilical artery and the other part is supplied by the caudal uterine artery caudal uterine artery that is the branch of the internal ilia that is the branch of the urogenital artery uh here it is not visible caudal uterine artery that is the branch of the urogenital artery so the portion of uterus get blood supply by the uterine branch of ovarian artery middle uterine artery and the caudal uterine artery uterus in case of cattle in case of mare we also see that the uterine horn are short give the t shaped appearance body is comparatively larger than the cow neck is short and cervical canal is straight and carankles are absent over the surface of uterus in case of bitch body is short horns are long give a b shaped appearance and cotyledons are absent carankles are absent over the surface of uterus in case of sow the uterus has small body long tubular flexus horns are present form a u shaped coil neck is elongated so this kind of arrangement you will find in case of cattle in case of mare in case of sow structure is vagina tube that extend from the cervix to the external genitalia when we discuss about the structure it consists of surface epithelium muscular coat and the serosa the outermost covering is known as serosa the middle muscular coat and the innermost surface epithelium 
in case of cow anterior sphincter muscles are also present along with the posterior sphincter muscle in some book you can find the description that the vagina consists of two part anterior vagina and posterior vagina and the posterior segment of vagina is vestibule and in some book you will find that an vagina and vestibule the anterior the portion is named vagina and the posterior portion is named vestibule and in some book you can find the anterior and posterior segment of vagina and posterior segment is named as vestibule okay so don't get confused vagina and vestibules both are present and the different the demarcation between the vagina and vestibule can be done by the presence of external urethral orifice here you can see this is the vagina proper and this is the vestibule and here you can see the presence of external urethral orifice over which urethra get open okay so first we will discuss about the vagina it extend from the cervix to the vestibule it is related ventrally with the bladder and dorsally with the rectum the lateral surfaces are related to the wall of the pelvic cavity the luminal space form at the cranial part of the vagina cranial part of the vagina vagina here you can see the extension of the vagina surrounding the cervix known as fornix vaginae its cranial part is covered by the peritoneum while the rest of the portion is covered by the loose connective tissue in between the muscular coat and the mucosal coat you will find the running of two ducts which known as gartner's duct open on either side of the external urethral orifice here you can see the presence of external urethral orifice and these are the opening of the gartner's duct and these gartner's duct are representative of golfian duct or mesonephric duct male genital system is developed from the male genital system is developed from the this duct is a male genital system mullerian duct mullerian duct male genital by the mullerian duct and female genital female genital mem male mem wolfian and female mem mullerian clear hai na abhi mullerian duct male genital duct uh, male tract developed ho raha tha bhai yes ma'am okay so wolfian males wolfian duct is in case of male and in case of female mullerian mullerian duct okay so here you can see the remnant of mesonephric duct or the wolfian duct in the form of gartner's canal and, or gartner's duct and these uh, two canal or two ducts are present in between the muscular and mucosal coat of vagina and these two ducts open surrounding the external urethral orifice okay the surface epithelium is 
stratified squamous, non keratinized stratified squamous epithelium. Although surface epithelium we will discuss in detail when we discuss about the histology. Okay, and less capacious. The wall is comparatively thinner, and the external urethral orifice is covered by a transverse fold of mucous membrane. In case of which, as we discussed, that phonics is not very much distinct, and canal of Gardner's are generally absent. In case of sow, vagina represents presents longitudinal folds in the lumen. Okay, so this is about the vagina. Now come to the vaginal vestibule. The posterior part or the part after the external urethral orifice is known as vestibule it extends from the external or urethral orifice to the vulva clap there is not clear cut demarcation between the vagina and well vestibule in the uh, the vestibule you can find the presence of vestibular glands the major vestibular glands and minor vestibular glands or a small vestibular glands and large vestibular glands and these glands also named as bartholin's gland major vestibular gland also named as bartholin's gland Okay, major or minor uh, vestibular glands you can encounter when you, you see the vestibule. And surrounding the urethral, external urethral orifice, surrounding the external urethral orifice, you will find that known as suburethral diverticulum beneath the external urethral orifice you will find a depression that known as suburethral diverticulum and that helps to prevent the uh, flow of urine towards the uterus okay so suburethral diverticulum is present just behind the external urethral orifice Okay, so this is about the vestibule. Now come to the external genitalia that is the vulva. At the vulva is formed by the two lip like structure or two labia that unite at the dorsal and ventral commissure surrounding the vent vertical vulvar opening. so here you can see the two labia of bulba that united at its dorsal part and ventral part and in middle you can see a longitudinal bulbar opening and these labia appear wrinkled and dry when cow is not in a estrous condition Along with the labia, you will find labia, vestibule, and clitoris. The clitoris is structure that is similar to the penis. In case of male, penis is present, well developed penis is present, while in case of female, the clitoris is present. This clitoris is divided into two parts body and glands, glands clitoris and body is known as corpus 
it is also formed by the union of the left and right pleura that is attached to the ischiatic arch and this all this structure is present within the fossa that known as fossa clitoris and only glans is the only exposed part of the clitoris and this is made up of erectile tissue okay so vulva is the opening of the reproductive system external opening of the reproductive system and its function to provide the passage for urine and opening for mating as well as birth canal here you can see the vulvar lips along with the vulvar lips you will you can find and the included in the vulva structure are the lips vestibule and clitoris so this is about the female genitalia in different species in case of female in case of female the urethra is a the 8 to 12 cm long narrow tube urethra is a 8 to 12 cm long narrow tube extend from the neck of the bladder to the external urethral orifice it is dorsally fused with the vagina and ventral laterally covered by the constrictor vestibuli muscle the lining epithelium is transitional near the bladder and later on it changes to the stratified squamous epithelium towards the external urethral orifice and its muscular coat is composed of outer longitudinal and inner spiral inner circular as well as spiral muscles okay so the course of the urethra is not very much descriptive as it is present in case of male however it is started from the neck of the urinary bladder and it opens at the external urethral orifice it covers dorsally by the vagina and the ventrally by the constrictor vestibuli muscle okay in other species as in case of mare the clitoris is short and thick fossa clitoris is wide suburethral diverticulum is absent suburethral diverticulum is absent urethra is short but thicker than the cow in case of bitch clitoris is flat in case of bitch clitoris is flat labia are thick labia are thick and ventral commissure is pointed the constrictor vestibule muscle is strong in case of sow the vulvar lips are thick dorsal commissure is rounded and ventral commissure is pointed the dorsal commissure is rounded and the ventral commissure is pointed so these differences you will encounter when you see the lips of vulva in different species and that's all about the female genital system of different species remaining the mammary gland 
which is uh, uh, these glands are well very well developed at the time of pregnancy okay so in next class we will discuss about the mammary gland in different species and the female genital system of the fowl abhi tak ke portion mein kisi ko koi doubt pareshani dikkat ho female genital system of any species mein koi pareshani ho koi doubt ho koi dikkat ho so in next class we will discuss about the mammary gland in different species and the female genital system of fowl that's all for today's class thank you